Shadow Rock is one of several churches in the Phoenix area that was contacted by ICE officials and asked to provide temporary shelter for these immigrant families that the feds just don't have room for. About 100 immigrants were brought to this church last night and many of them are still here. We're told they were released from federal custody because our immigration system is so backed up there's no room to put everyone. The plan is for the immigrants to stay here a couple of nights, then hop on a bus and meet up with family members in cities across the country. Once they arrive at their destination, they will be required to self-report to immigration officials. By allowing these families to stay in these churches, it prevents them from having to sleep in local bus stations until it's time for them to go. A lot of volunteers have been coming and helping us out with uh, meals and linens and transportation and Spanish speaking. I mean, even just having translators on hand, um, helping them make phone calls, helping them confirm bus tickets. Usually the stories we hear are um, people fleeing violence in Central America, um, trying to, and taking the risk of bringing their families across our border um, because it's better than where they are. Shadow Rock has been a sanctuary church since 2014. We've been out here a number of times doing stories on immigrants being allowed to stay to avoid deportation. I'm told the church is used to having maybe 10 to 20 guests at a time. So having 100 people arrive at once was quite an undertaking. Now, earlier today, we received this statement from ICE. It said, after decades of inaction by Congress, the government remains severely constrained in its ability to detain and promptly remove families that have no legal basis to remain in the United States. As a result, family units continue to cross the border at high volumes and are likely to continue to do so as they face no consequence for their actions. Right now, the feds have no place to detain these immigrant families and keep them together, so releasing them until they can appear before a judge is pretty much the only option. Reporting live in Phoenix, Jason Berry for Arizona's Family.